It is always a pleasure to watch the compact, powerful style of Tom Boyle. And he is set to drop in on a rather breezy day. But you would think that if the breeze is not going to affect any one guy in this competition, it is Boyle whose style is that nice compressed form. And he almost sometimes looks as if he's in a skier's tuck. He gets so deep on his board. Well, he pushes the limits to the extreme, and that's why he is at the extreme games, because this guy goes edge to edge. A lot of frontside inverts for Tom. He's known as the Rock, an intense, powerful skater with good airs and also flip tricks. He'll do the 540 McTwist somewhere in his routine. Also, he should pull off an invert as well. Backside airs. He's working his height. There's a method air. You saw it in the vert competition. Traveling along the width of the half pipe. Very stylish. That's good that you noticed that, Jack, because he does use the entire ramp when he does airs. Had a great warm up. Oh, a backside stall there. He misses there. Uh, and he leaves the board on top. He's going to have to climb back to get it. He was trying some tough tricks there. <laughs> Drops in as the time sounds for Tom Boyle. Tom Boyle, good solid stuff until he ran into problems in the last 10 seconds. Two more skaters in the half pipe who won in the first round of the winner's bracket. Rune Glifberg against Tom Boyle. And Boyle is set to drop in first. As we saw in the inline head-to-head -head last night, it's so important to try to get through the winner's side because you'll have two fewer performances when you get to the final than the man you'll be going against. And fatigue definitely was a factor last night. And I would imagine that it will be when the loser's bracket and winner finally emerges to meet the winner of the winner's semifinal. Two things about last night's weather. It was cool, plus there was no wind. Here today, Newport, Rhode Island, it's hot and there's a lot of wind. The two elements working against the skateboarder. Tom Boyle really... Oh, man, that's tough. You see how that board just shot out from underneath. We have seen boards deflect off the half pipe and go a good 35 feet in the air. It's almost as if you got to keep your, your head looking upward, anticipating a bomb falling on you. This is not anything new to Tom Boyle because he won the Monster Mash contest back in October of 1994, one of the real first oh. competitions in a long time. That was beautiful. See how I used the whole ramp? And he comes back and he has a strong routine. The judges are going to forget about that fall because he pulled off some nice tricks. The point of balance is so fine for these guys, and that board is moving really fast. 20, 25 miles an hour on a masonite surface. It's almost as if he is on wheels on ice at times. Tom Boyle took a pounding on the fall, but what a nice performance. Uh, Mike Frazier, good, but not great. And Boyle moves on. Tom Boyle, the rock, up against Neil Hendricks, the airman. They're not really deciding who is better forever. They're just deciding who is better in this five-minute period. Oh, man, that's a nasty fall. And Tom is hurt. He's definitely hurt. Tom went down hard. You saw on the 540 that he barely made it in, back into the ramp. Look at this. This guy uh, tells you where he hit, <laughs> and everybody applauds the fact that he gets up. Huge threshold of pain. I get thrown out of a second-story building onto a masonite floor. Yeah, it's just like he was just hit by a car. He pulled the 540 McQuist. I feel fine. Yep. <laughs> then a 5-0 grind. He's pumping now. He doesn't even feel anything. Oh. He feels that. Oh, nasty. Onto the tailbone. Tom Boyle really getting hammered. Tom Boyle. Neil Hendricks doesn't have a smile on his face because he's laughing. Look at Neil. When they slap their board up there on the coping, that means they like what they see and they respect their skater friends.